today was not really it. We got to see a couple cool spots, but it didn't do justice to what our expectations were. As you can see guys, we're still here in Puerto Rico getting ready to leave Isabella, but not until we get our breakfast sandwiches here in oatmeal and different things like that. We're gonna head off to the mountains. We're leaving the beaches for the mountains and we're going like sort of to this mountain top. And this mountain top that we're going to is called Ho Ho. It's about to go down, it's going down, like there's a well in the boat. Let's go. So guys, I guess they didn't have Avena, which is oatmeal, uh, but they did have some delicious pan, going huevos, like, and jamon, so eggs and ham, and we're grubbing. The boys are eating. Um, unfortunately, you know, typically we do give them oatmeal, with eggs but today they're settling with sandwiches and they seem to be pretty happy so we're grabbing guys it's super delicious if you come to puerto rico i highly suggest you not just going to a burger king or mcdonald's or stuff like that go experience ponds pondanadias right boo Panadillas. uh that's where you can get some authentic sort of uh, breakfast and food bakery all right, peace y'all. Here we go, we're, we're on the journey, boys, y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. It's eight in the morning, so they're not as enthusiastic, but we'll get there. You ready, boo-boo? My yeah. beautiful queen. And we're vanning it up today, y'all. See the vans? See Wifey's van? Okay, let me help Wifey. You know her, she's always the serious one. <laughs> All right, guys, so. If you can guess what Denise is doing right now, you're really good. You guess right. She's ordering what? Coffee. So she's ordering coffee. We're here at Cream and Sugar Coffee Shop. And we're about to get some good coffee in our system. We're going to be on our way. Write in the comments below, what's your favorite coffee? What is your favorite coffee? Or if you're not a coffee person, what do you prefer as the first drink in the morning? Some of you may say smoothies. Some of you may even say tea. Let us know. Some of you specifically just love water. And I love that. Because our son right here has been asking for water. He's about to ask. For the people watching out there, what kind of coffee did you get today? I got an iced latte with oat milk and coconut and three shots of espresso. The flavor is coconut? Yeah. Yummy, que rico. Awesome. Well, time to sip it up. Daddy got one too. See? Papa. Ciao, ciao, y'all. Let go. See y'all at the mountains.
really interesting here. This is a place off the side of the road that we just found. It's a big lizard right there. But I'm gonna come down here and see what I can see. Wow, this is pretty wild. It's pretty awesome. This is a gym. Look at this, man. This is a hidden gem right off the side of the freeway here in Puerto Rico. Absolutely love it. They're crushing it. Now I gotta figure out what is the story behind those bears that are hanging up right up here in the hill. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll share with you a little bit about that. But this is definitely such a peaceful place. There's nobody here that's in sight and perfect place to come hang out and take the kids to potentially shower and get in the pool. Look like even a natural slide right here <laughs> for the kids. But uh, yeah, guys, love it. All right, guys, the natural part of that place we just visited with all the teddy bears and dolls, the natural side of it was beautiful. But the actual dolls, when you first drive up, oh, they look cute. But when you get close, it's kind of spooky. It's kind of scary. Yeah. If you know why, the reason why those dolls are there, let us know. My logical thing is that a young girl or a kid lost their life probably in the river there. And they just start hanging dolls. I have no idea why. What do you yeah. think, Booth? I don't, I really don't know. I think, I, I'm gonna do some research on it too. I don't know, I know that, you know, teddy bears are connected to children. That's all I can think of. So it has yeah. to be something dealing with that. But it's interesting because it had like a couch, it had like a table, you know, it had like chairs. Like a setting, like mm -hmm, Like a setting, so I'm gonna look it up. Okay. It, it does have a history of somebody passing away. Wow. Years ago in the 19th. The senator, something. right? The senator yeah, of from the... from that town, from the town, town Las Marias. That's where it is in Las Marias. So I'm going to do a research and see. And then, I don't know, if I find something, then we can share with you guys. But it's interesting. It looks like I, I wasn't able to go in to go see it, but it looks really pretty. Super People pretty. Swim. Yeah. So stay tuned. We'll let you guys know either in the description below or we'll add it to the video. But yeah, we got more places to see, more people to meet. Here we go. Bye, man. All right, guys, we're in Maricao. This is actually the place we're gonna be hanging out. Bienvenido! <laughs> and it looks like the kiddos are ready to get out. So here we go. Vamos, vamos, vamos! This is our first stop of the day, official stop of the day here in the mountain region of Maricao, Maricao. So uh, I think we're gonna go in a more nature style place. So look out for the content. I think I love about this little town already, this little Pueblo. They have their own little unique sort of style. You can tell their theme colors for their city. 
is green and yellow. I think they're right. Look, look yeah. see all this green and yellow is everywhere. And it's just it's just gorgeous. Little, little statues, if you can see that little statue right there. And yeah, it's a vibe for sure. But one thing that we'll say, don't trust Google Maps coming here. Google Maps, not Apple Maps, all right? Google Maps. We've been having a little bit of issues getting to where we're going here in this little town. But uh, we're gonna make it. Alright guys, we're at this famous location here, basically named after one of my favorite people in the Bible, John the Baptist, literally. In my this bike. place is called what? Group? In my bike. Gruta de San, uh, Gruta San, um, Gruta de San Juan Bautista. Ah, claro que si. Sí. Alright, we're going to get out and stretch and work our way up the hill. Let us get these kids out. Yes, daddy. What's going on? I'm coming out right now. Are you ready? You ready for the first part of this? Oh wow, what is this grape juice? You got grape juice? Yeah. You ready to get out? Yeah. Eli, you ready? Careful with the cars, okay? Don't be walking on the street. Cars are Eli, well, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Let's go. We're going that way, guys. We're going up. Well, we got two different options. And we'll choose here soon. Alright guys, so we're headed up the hill here. Got a hood on the Samuel's hand. Mommy's carrying Zakai. So with the younger kids, you just want to be careful. Just like some of the other touristic places here that have cliffs and when you're in tree houses and different things like that here in Puerto Rico, you gotta be safe. Because the little ones can get, they can get underneath that bar. It can be really dangerous. But uh, yeah. See little Emmanuel back here? I don't know which side he's on. But he's comfortable. All right, y'all. Check out this view. So gorgeous. What, dude? Oh, see, that's what I was just talking about. With uh, the kiddos, they can climb underneath sort of that bar there. Looks like they got a public swimming pool here since there's no beach any, anywhere nearby. Oh wow, you see one? Where? We're almost there boys! As you can see here, we're actually looking at John the Baptist. And this is the place my wife chose for us here as of yesterday night to come here on the way to where our final destination is. And John the Baptist is right here. This big gentleman right here looking good. And uh, also Jesus, Jesus, Esther, he, 
Uh, and yeah, it looks like he's baptizing them, but he's baptizing them with a cup of water, which I don't think that's necessarily fully biblical because he dumped them uh, he dumped them in an actual actual water. It wasn't just a cup we poured over his head. So needless to say I love love this, love the thought of it, love the heart behind it. And uh yeah. Hope y'all enjoy it. This, my wife discovered this just a second ago as well. She's so good at finding stuff. But check this rock out. It reminds me of the story of Moses when he was with the Israelites. They were pretty much in bondage, stuck in their sin. They were out journeying, trying to find the land of promise, the promised land. And they got thirsty and they were so upset with Moses because he brought them out there and there was no type of provision that they could see. Like, and they wanted water and Moses prayed to God. He struck the rock, a rock with the staff and then water began to come forth. But this reminds me of the provision of God. When we trust in God and we allow God to show up in places where we feel that he can't, we, and we believe he brings forth what we need and it changes everything. Well, check this out guys, look at that. There's water that's flowing from here and the source is somewhere in there. But what's amazing is if you come here, you got natural water flowing for you. And we need to trust the Lord that wherever we go, he'll provide just as he provided to the children of Israel through the faith of Moses in the action that he had done to make sure they were provided for. I love that. Let's go. <laughs> Ain't that cool, boys? Before this place was full of holes and empty rooms. Life forgotten, long lost, ten shades of blue. But now a shed of light, someone to hold. A story seldom told. Guys, before we left the place here, Denise is hitting Eli's shoes on the ground. Why, Eli? What happened? Huh? What happened? Well, fire ants really hit. Uh, got on Eli and started biting Eli, and it was all bad. But now he's feeling a lot better. We got his socks and shoes off, and then we poured water on them. But they're real serious here. They bit my wife too. Uh, so be careful if you come out this way with the kiddos, making sure you're just cognizant of where you're walking because that was crazy. That boy was acting like he had ants in his pants, not just in his feet. So. officially made it to this beautiful city. El Pueblo is muy uh, hermosa. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to lock the car actually. <laughs> but uh, yeah guys, stay tuned, we made it. It's about, it's going down, it's going down like there's a well in the boat. Let go. Oh, what am I supposed to do? So guys, several years back and we're here at the restaurant that we're about to chow down uh, here before we get out and adventure. However, several years back, me, my, when my wife was expressing that she wanted to open up a coffee shop, there was a specific place we went in Puerto Rico that was a cafe that was selling the coffee machine that she wanted to buy. And we actually ran into it as we got to our table, sitting right next to us, the very first little coffee machine that she ever wanted. And it's right here. Hot dog with a with cheese in there. 
That's the pepperoni one. Uh, I like that. So there's pepperoni, there's all different types. We got chicken and cheese, uh, empanadas. And then here's the thing, here in Puerto Rico, you're not just gonna walk down the street and see a lot of healthy options. However, the food is so delicious. I would probably vote better than Colombian Colombia food. Um, but overall, yeah, it's it's delicious. But you just gotta be ready to work out after you eat Puerto Rican food. <laughs> All right, y'all. guys yes you got that right we're back at the house uh, there was a lot of complications it was actually terrible the back end of our day and our time after we left the downtown area we went out looking for a few places that was recommended to us through Instagram but dude it was so hard friends muchachos it was so hard to find these locations across sort of the the city there and we went not existing anymore. so it wasn't existing at all right so it's not existing at all one of the places that we are going to look and we we're super excited about it and it took what 30 minutes to get there 20 minutes when we got there it, it was just a river space and the other one like literally was not even there anymore so as you guys can see this bridge right here we were actually going through puerto rico in the mountains to the specific city to see this specific bridge but the problem was when we arrived that bridge no longer existed what we felt to do which i highly encourage you to yes go to instagram and find locations you want to visit in puerto rico but make sure you look at the dates and get any updated sort of news on what's actually happening in the place you're looking at we didn't do that we failed to research up to date what's actually going on with that specific location come to find out they no longer have that bridge at the location because family members had issues and they decided to shut the place down so they no longer offer the service of the bridge is completely gone so needless to say what we would encourage each and every person listening in underneath the sound of our voice if you're going to drive out to sort of a mountain city to go explore do not and i i literally say do not take your children on a long hike through all the mountains. I mean, it's beautiful, but again, our kid jumped out of, basically jumped out of the car <laughs> saying, hey, I'm dizzy. I'm no, about to throw the up. License, the curve. The curve. It was, it was like curves nonstop, nonstop, forever ending, forever ending. Yeah. I was in a bad mood. I wanted to After get out of there. After 20, 30 minutes, you're done. Like, and it mm. takes you about an hour and a half to go 30 miles, 30 miles, literally, like 30 miles in a no, car, no, which is no, crazy because you got to go to 35 miles per hour. We were going to one place and that place wasn't it, so we had to turn back and it, it was just way too much driving. So here's the solution. We're not just going to give you a problem. We're going to give you a tangible solution for you and your family when you come out to Puerto Rico to visit because the infrastructure is a bit different than in the States. You can't just jump on a turnpike and get exactly to where you want to be you got to go and force through a lot of different back roads and maybe one-way roads in a mountain like it's insane but this is the solution 
drive on that freeway that goes around the whole island to get closest to the actual city you're going to that's in the mountain and then go up from there towards the city in whatever access road you can get there too. Does that make sense, babe? What's that main freeway that goes around the island that's flat that you can like drive fast? What's that main freeway, the name of it? Like coming from San Juan all the way to Arecibo and Isabel, what is it called? I'm gonna. Babe, I'm gonna, okay. I wanna redo this video because, like, look at me, look at the. Like, you look beautiful, boo. We in the house, boo. We just made it back, and got the baby some Wendy's. So at the end of the day, guys, that's the truth. That's what we're clinging to as far as our experience. And we hope you have a greater experience. But today was not really it. We got to see a couple cool spots, but. It didn't do justice to what our expectations were. Because you wanted to go to a different place. That's what happened. Got you. Well. No, 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 no. A lot happened. Well, we did good. It was hard. It was, yeah. It, yeah, our kids actually did really well on the way back. That's the thing about adventures. That adventures, you never they, know. Yeah. Like. Daddy. They're not always perfect. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Those plans. Exactly. Daddy. Plans and Daddy, then go through. Your plans won't go through. Yeah. <laughs> so, and you gotta accept it and figure out how you're gonna. Daddy. What was the purpose of the trip? Exactly. We drove a long time. Like four hours. Curves, just nonstop. My my wifey drove the whole way too. She did great. Love you. Oh, you feel great, huh? Because she don't trust me behind the wheel here in Puerto Rico. I know she don't. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you review, subscribe. I don't even think you call it review. Just comment, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. We need more likes on our videos to reach more people that are interested in visiting the island, but also that just want to get a few fresh tips on how to navigate the island with a family, a big family. So uh, God bless you guys. Dios te bendiga siempre. We are Christians. God changed our life. He's changing our lives. And we're trying to share the hope that we found in Jesus to our children and the world and beyond. So God bless y'all. We hope y'all have a blessed one. We'll talk soon. Ciao. Now that Tell me.